Hi, Hi everyone. Now. I'm Gary. I'm Ronnie. We are Garon Citry. The house of Garon Tottenberg. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> Anything afternoon is evening for Ronnie. Yeah. Why not? Because <laughs> he goes to bed so darn early. <laughs> I am not being in bed early this week. Yeah. So, welcome. If you're new, we are a floss tube channel about cross stitch. We are, uh, an, uh, we are owners of an online cross stitch shop called garon stitchery.com. And we are owners of an on, of a local needlework shop. Grand opening will be April the 27th, 2024 in Ozark, Alabama. So, two weeks? Yes, two weeks. Yep. Uh -huh. Tomorrow, two weeks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. There's so much to do. But we have we have Stay so much done. Stay in the schedule. Stay in okay. the schedule. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a little there. <laughs> Woo! It's, All right. Okay. All right. The uh, welcomes. Yeah, we do welcomes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now <laughs> I'm still panicking. Um, we have uh, thank yous. We have a lovely card yes. today. Thank you to our dear friend. I think Oops. It's, uh, I Kathy. Kathy. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kathy and. Uh, Kentucky, K Kentucky. Kentucky? Yeah, KY is Kentucky. Oh, okay, sorry. Thank you so much for the lovely card. Uh -huh. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Super cute, I love it. Yeah. And, and we have uh, two fellow floss tubers <coughs> that shouted us out this week. Uh, the first one is uh, Stitching in the Inner Lake. Thank uh, you. Thank you, she, she shouted us out. Oh, we, so one of the videos we were watching, she was like giving the ad dress and everything for the for the grand opening and everything. Oh my gosh! Yeah, thank, <laughs> thank you, you so, so much. much. And then the next one is a new um, new uh, floss tuber. We haven't watched uh, too much of her videos yet, but this is from a uh, witchy woman. We look forward to seeing what all is going to happen with her. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you. And um, uh, wow, take a breath. Okay. Um, whips. I'm not, I'm not supposed to ask Ronnie about whips because uh, his whip has been at the building and here and there and everywhere else. He's been yeah. his work in progress. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the job for four people <laughs> this week. <laughs> you know what that means? Is that out of work? <laughs> no, no, that means what were you doing before? <laughs> you were slacking. <laughs> Sorry, it's the it's the corporate mind. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> it's the corporate mind to me. That's what they always say, corporate. When you complain no, about no. too much work, I'm working every day. Yes, but this is going crazy because we try to do the the store, and then I'm doing four or five tasks mm -hmm. in in a day. Yeah. And, it's, it's a and different, it's, yeah. It's a different spate of work. Yeah, and you've learned yeah. and you've learned a lot of new stuff on the website, loading things on the website and taking things out. So it's been a very great expanding. And now I think he has more understanding <laughs> of the process. It's not always easy of putting things in and out. It's um, it's a task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, my whip. Um, I have one whip I was working on, but we'll talk about the whip that I can show you. The whip you are working on is... Um, Eggs all around. Oh. It's Stitch Along. Yeah, Stitch Along with um, Sarah, Sarah Memphis e and uh, Leanne from uh, Forbidden Fiber Co. We have started this. They, they cornered us, cornered me in um, Nashville and we signed up to do this. I believe... Uh, Carolyn from Seasuck Stitch is also stitching this, and um, I think I saw there's a couple other people that's waiting for it to ship to them. I know because I'm I'm in the process of shipping it to them. All right, and so here is my progress. I'm wow. I got one page partially done. I think, I'll, and then I'm I wanted to get all these little eggs. I got one more egg to do. And then the center will be done. Then there's all, all this other stuff is beading and, and a specialty stitch in the center. But once I get those, then it's easy to count off to get to the eggs around. Because I, I try to do the least amount of counting as I can. So if it's more than seven stitches away, I don't count. I find a shorter way to get there. <laughs> a, a shorter way to get there. Sometimes it's all the way around the piece to get there. But I'll get there. So um, this is on a 28 count uh, Zweigart. It's called Green Sapphire. And um, I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty, pretty close. To, well, the photo, I don't think, 
I think they used a yellow in their in theirs, but the photo looked green. But um, it's a light, very soft green. Yeah, they used um, uh, what was that? Um, I read it. Uh, they used crist crystallis, and I think that's a chrysalis. Chrysalis. I think that's like a type of yellow, yellow, maybe a little limey yellow green. Maybe I'm. I don't know. I haven't seen it before, but I don't remember that. I'm enjoying this piece. And then my other piece that I started, not last night, but the night before when it came in the mail, it's the uh, lovely chart that Karen from Rosewood Manor uh, created for us for the grand opening. The table moved oh, I'm, I'm touching the table. <laughs> um, Karen created it for us for the grand opening. So it will be a, uh, a gift for those of you that attend the grand opening. And I'm stitching the model so that we can see what it looks like. It's a little sweet um, gift from Karen, and we appreciate her so much. Yeah, and and um, I think you guys will enjoy it. It's a little fun, little fun, quickie. It's a very uh, kind of her. Yeah. Because for no reason she come in and tell us that she she's uh, sending us a a shirt for the grand opening and was a very 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 nice surprise yeah and we really appreciate it mm -hmm. so um now let's get into what what's new so we don't have a lot what's of what's new or what is coming back to the show yeah because we've been we've been uh working so hard on loading inventory into the physical store um we've been pulling orders for the online shop and we haven't really been going out buying a lot of things for the shop, so we won't have that much to show. Yeah. But we do have a lot of stuff that is older stuff that uh, we have models of that we want to show in the store. So, yeah. so that's what we've been focusing on this last week and week or week, two weeks, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So the first one I want to show is um, ladies, coming ladies' back. night coming back. Cricket collection. You guys know these ladies and you love them. Uh, and they are so much fun to stitch. They were really, they really are a fun stitch. So this is uh, Ladies' Night. There you go. And then um, the next couple of charts is from... You had to pass me that one. Oh, where I can put that it would make sense, here. wouldn't it? There you I'm go. thinking, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to get my poker to make sure you're awake. All right, so the next one is from Hands on Design. It's her Scary Apothecary series. I'm only showing a couple of them right now, but we have the others already in the or already in the website. These were ones that we were this out is of. Coming back. Yeah, coming back. So the first one here is Crackle Lo Lozengers. And I didn't finish mine like this. I did mine on a banding, so it was it's easier. This next one is Cauldron Cleaner. But I do love the way Kathy had them finished. Like it's super cute. This is skeleton polish. And the last one here is Coffin Paint. So there's that. And then the next one, oh, we got two of these. Oh, I got carried away. Uh, is called, seven, it's from her um, Block Party series. It's called 17th. So it's the St. Patrick's Day related one. This one, um, this is what it looks like here at the bottom when it's all open. So I, did not have mine done as a block. I had mine framed as as a long piece, and I think it's really cute. That way you can see all of it. But I do I do want to do a block finish on one of those one day, probably the dog one. And the na next one is from Art to Heart. This is my spirit animal, mischief monster. He was my favorite little guy to stitch. This coming with uh. Oh, no, I don't think I have a good clean paper. Uh, the back of this one. Mm -hmm. Yep, he'll fix it out. So this is Mischief Monster. He comes with all the buttons. But I love him because look at all those colors. They're like a quilt. They are a quilt pattern. You can see I did a little frog. Yep. yep. He, he eats. So he eats frogs. So he's a good guy to have next to your stitching area. So he'll eat the frog. Mm -hmm. I knew there was a reason why I love him. He's a frog eater. That's why I don't frog. Mm -hmm. he was the funny. eyes are buttons. Yep, and the teeth. He's got little teeth that are buttons. Mm. So the next one here is an oldie but a goodie. We've got the bead pack also for this. This is called Santa from Mirabilia. He is a full coverage Santa, one of the few 
I think Mirror's got like th two others that are full coverage like this. So this is all full coverage um, Santa. And there's just a little bit of beads. Was it come back around here? Oh, I think there's wow. like um, one, two, five beads. There's like five beads that goes with that little guy yeah. that you put on him. Yeah, he's uh, it's fun. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And then the next one here is from Val Stuff. You guys remember him? He was he was always behind us on the wall. He was the guy I had framed in a little coffin that I got at Michael's or somewhere in the clearance section. But this is um, Skeleton in Your Closet. Isn't he a cute guy? He looks cool just, just framed in a regular blacks frame too. But I always think if you can find something interesting to frame them in, repurpose it and have fun with it. And then the next one is a Halloween Sampler by um, Cottage Garden Samplings. Oh. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? What's he doing? Oh, he's going somewhere. He's going somewhere. Oh, yes, yes. He's got one more. <laughs> so, I completely forgot. Yeah. So there's that. And then we have another one from Cottage Garden. It's still, in the, it's still in the bag because I just pick it up. This is, the la this is the latest house from the fabulous house season. This is the Hobbit house. So you got the little Hobbit door there and the little Hobbit bed bedrooms or guest rooms yeah so it's a cute this is brand it, new yeah it's been a cute little series coming through yeah and then um back from um heart and hand is the frosty tiny town a lot of you have got this one at market and um it there you go it looks like that and then they're super cute when you finish them as drums i think they look really cute as drums and then here is christmas tiny town this is the one I did, and I had it finished as a drum. They really do stitch up super fast, and they're so much fun. Because, like, every little house is a finish when you just, oh, I've oh, done, finished another one. Okay. And, oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, now we're getting into my passion, the Glendon Place um, designs. This is Woodland Wonder. They're my famous... The, this reindeer, all those trees are about 80% beads. There's a lot of bead work on this and it it goes as a grid and they, they really are fun to do. They did this one on earthen, which is more of a brown. I did mine on a very pale green and I think it really pops with the green. Uh, I think you could probably do it on a blue, a blue, a nice light blue would look good with this. Now remember, there are snowflakes in the border between this beadwork here and Krynik. So you can't even see this, barely see the snowflakes there. So, I mean, I think they're just supposed to be like a hint more texture wise when you're looking at it as a piece, but you can see them in person. All right, next guy here, you know this guy here, Sleepy Hollow. We got him back in the shop and he will be at the store. The model's sitting there at the store guarding Guarding over over all the goodies, Sleepy Hollow. And then, where would we be without Frank's family portrait? And it comes with the little um, earrings and necklace for her. The charm, the charms right here come with the chart. So this is nice. That one um, was very deceptive because I was thinking it was so big to do. And then, but once I started it and got into it, it was actually went pretty quick because they're only like, they're only like half people. And now we have uh, New Snow. This is a, a 2006 chart, but we got the chart and the thread pack for the New Snow. This is so cute. You only, you, the, you only stitch a little bit of stuff. Most of it's all fabric. Mm. So it's very peaceful. So that's where you go dig through your stash and find that odd fabric that's got splotchy stuff on there and it would work very well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, we did show this guy. I showed you my progress on him. So he is, <laughs> he is good to go. And here is Vinny the Vampire. I had fun stitching him as well. Now, when I did mine, I did not do the moon because the green fabric I always use is very close to this one. And it, to me, it just disappears. 
And if I can't see it, I'm not going to do it. And the, if you have the older pattern, the older patterns came with the buttons for his um, for his piece right there, but they've been discontinued. So now the chart's only just the chart, if you had any questions about that. Okay. And another oldie but goodie. All my boyfriends are here today, aren't they? Here's Frank. Was it Frankie the Thinker? He looks very gloomy there, but whenever he's stitched, he looks very festive. I don't know, he's much lighter in person. These are two new ones for the shop. This is from a designer, uh, Lola Crow. A lot of you know her because she does a lot of those um, pieces where she, she breaks out pieces and you do so much over, over a certain amount of time. But this one was one that she did do that with, but now it's released as one complete chart for those of you like me who I need to see the whole thing so I can pick and choose my fabric properly. So this is The Haunted Library. And it's got, it's a really good book. It's got all <laughs> the details in there. It talks about the back stitching and where to do back stitching at and what to do this at. It's really a fun piece. And then her other one that came out was Greenhouse of Oddities. And again, this one may, I think this one was also another piece one, but this is fun. And it still gives you the option. It gives you the option, oops, to do um, Mad Scientist, old white haired mad scientist or this little creepy looking mad scientist. I think both of them are fun. Depends on the look that you want to go with. Uh, this is a pattern I stitched probably in 2014 or something like that. Back 1820s? 1820s. You're so sweet. <laughs> this, well, it was back when I was stitching on Ada. So this is called Poof. And I used to have, she was done on orange fabric. So she was behind me. This was a very fun, is a very fun stitch. And I'm, 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 when I'm looking at this pattern, I'm like, I clearly did not follow the instructions on this pattern because I used a uh, whisper thread on the Caterpillar. For some reason I used green whisper thread. There was no calling for green whisper thread. And I used it two over two, two, two strands of it on, on my Ada. And it was so thick and it, I think that's what, this piece is probably why I hate whisper so bad because I used two strands. It was fuzzy. Um, but now that I know how to use whisper the proper way, it's not that hard to use. <laughs> All right. And then this one back, this one is also one that I did back in the Ada days. Uh, this is called holiday clothesline. This one is kind of fun because you stitch just the, the greenery on a piece of fabric and then you stitch all the little clothes on a perforated paper and then you get the little wooden clothespins from like Michaels or somewhere and you attach them on there but I didn't want to do any of that so I did all mine on fabric and I just I had to move things around there they don't mine doesn't isn't as angled like that uh, I'll pop a picture of mine in here if I can find it and uh, that way you'll see mine are more straight hanging straight and I I did like backstitch lines to hold them up so, I mean, you can always take a pattern and you like it and change it to fit your style, I think. It's, it's always fun. All right. So that was all that we had that was uh, new, and back, back. new and come back in the shop. Most of it's all come back. Yes. Um, wow. It's We have looked at, while we're going through and pulling patterns to go over to the shop, we have looked at every pattern we own. Yes. And you know, how many times I'm over there on the computer, I'm working around, it's like, when did we get this? Why do we have this? What is this? It was so funny. It's like, As someone says, oh my gosh, I don't want to do it. But yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful uh, charts there, there. I'll and, be forgetting. And there was a lot that was, that's not Halloween that I'm like, oh, I want to do that one too. And I'm sorry. Someone said you should be making a list. I said if I made a list, it would be the size of the of the website because I am just as bad as you guys. We want to stitch it all. And this is one of the charts we're talking about. I don't idea we have it in the show. Yeah, this is called. Um, this so, is Pixel. Oh wait, we got to do our intro. For those of you who are not interested, we are getting ready to do the segment we call Shop the Shop, 
which is what we do, <laughs> which is what we've been doing for the last, um, I don't know, 15, 16 weeks, where we show a, a letter from our website of designers that start with that first letter. Yeah. Um, this week will be only a couple of the P because it's more to show. And I decided today I'm not going to do all the P's in one time yeah. because I'm exhausted, you understand? Yeah. And then next week I'm going to do the rest of the P's or we do the rest of the P's and probably am part of the... <laughs> I forgot. P, Q. No, Part P, Q. P yeah, and P Q. Q. <laughs> Thing in the and alphabet. And then we run to R because R is... A lot, yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah, and yeah. S will also be broken down because it's a lot. Yeah. So we have a... there after this uh, segment, shop to shop, and have a video from the how the garden stationery shop look right now. Yeah, yeah, it it looks pretty amazing. Yeah, now it start looking like a store because it's a more product. Yeah, game. yeah. It just has to be. Just the final touches right now, we're just putting things yeah. over there and then we'll be shuffling around. That's yeah. why we got organized. Yeah, we got we got some staff coming in later on this month to help us out. <laughs> yeah. All right. And, and we are still waiting for product too. Yeah, we're still, yeah. I've been calling and calling and trying to get stuff in. So, you know, as some people say, you know, the grand opening is going to happen, whether it, ha you know, whether it's here or not, um, we'll just have a pegboard there with a piece of paper on it says coming soon <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh yes that's probably it's gonna happen that's all you can do and you know what this is the time of of delivery and and, uh, and receiving so yeah. um so let's get into the letter p our first designer in the letter p is pixie pixel pixel. pixie cross stitch and i the first time i saw her designs is whenever they did that um, tea time um, series. I think it was for the virtual. I think it was the virtual market, but this is her um, addition for that that group. And they, there was a group of designers who did a bunch of charts with this theme, and they used uh, Twinway Silks uh, thread pack. It was like four different colors for the thread pack that they all used the same colors. So this was a fun piece. And then of course, you know, when I see a new designer, I always, always look, guess what? I love it so much, I got it twice. <laughs> you know, that happens to a lot of us. So this is uh, Fright Night. I always pull a Halloween piece <coughs> from a new designer when I find them, and this is so cute. I think I'm this guy right here. I don't know what he is, He's some, some kind of goblin or something. And, and then the next is this is Mum's the Word. This was another group that um, sh did uh, the design got together and they did the autumn garden, cottage gardens um, section, and they all use this cottage garden threads. And this is the design that she um, put for the collection. There's that. Okay, that's all right. And the next one, the next designer is to be. Pansy patch quilts and t-shirt. Yes. Um, she, her daughter is now designing and her daughter is Blueberry Ridge Designs. So um, if you'll notice, you'll notice some of the, um, they have a similar style. Um, so it's kind of a familiar family design house. It's kind of cool. I love it. Um, and, I, and I like the differences between the two mom and daughter. So the first one is Acorn House. And this is from Pumpkin Lane series. So there's a block of nine. This was the number eight. So this is the Acorn House. Okay, and then we have uh, Autumn Garden at Cranberry Manor. These are very relaxing. And then, of course, we have a new one come out. This is Betsy's Easter Basket. So Betsy has a basket for every season. This is her Easter Basket. 
And as we say that, here's Betsy's Halloween basket. Yeah, I'm trying to put it all together, but... Hey, I think you did pretty good. Yeah. And then here is Betsy's spring basket. Okay, and then we have, ooh, look at Betsy's Christmas basket. It's a very different take on on the holidays because it's not doesn't scream holiday unless you see the name of the pattern, I would say, because it could be for if you like reds or you like purples or whatever. It doesn't really scream the holiday, which I like. Here is uh, Betsy's summer basket. This is very festive. Betsy's summer basket. It's kind of... Oh, the way I don't know the way they laid it down, you can't get a full view of it. So, oh, those pretty flowers in there. They're like yeah, back in there. Sure, is no good. Okay. All right, and then here is Betsy's winter basket. See that goes that would go good with the Christmas one too. That got the reds and stuff. And now we've done we finished the baskets. So now we've got uh, the beekeeper house. This is from the Wisteria Lane series. And when they do the series, I believe the borders would connect when you, if you wanted to stitch them together, but they'd be pretty, pretty big. Here is Bloom. Ooh, here's another Pumpkin Lane uh, series. This is Cinnamon House. Ooh, it's very autumn -y. Look at those colors. And then we have another pumpkin lane. This is, oh, I love that little pumpkin they got there. This is Chrysanthemum House. I got distracted by the jack-o'-lantern. Chrysanthemum House. This is, oh, Stitch in My Garden. Come Stitch in, come. Uh, uh, Ronnie says, I always cut the first word. I always start reading right in the middle. I don't know what it is. I guess I can't wait to get to what I want to read. This is Come Stitch in the Garden. I don't say now or <laughs> now when I do it, I'm like, I know you're going to say it. I can hear it in my ear. This is a punk, another Pumpkin Lane series. This is Harvest House. Oh, wait, wait, I'm going to show. This is what they would look like if they were all stitched together. So it's like a block of nine. It's a bad photo, but you could see the, um, how they would fit together. I know you've been at this one. I, I just noticed. And then here is Hester. This, she is gorgeous. She, she was she pretty. She is gorgeous. She was pretty hot at market. It, the, we, we had a lot of people get her. This is Hester's Easter jumper. I love it. It's a cute little rabbit for um for Easter or just spring alone. I mean, it, it could be just spring. Yeah, any two seasons because it's beautiful. Yeah. And the flowers. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love yeah. her. Yeah. This is the one I'm like, ah. <laughs> And then here. There's too many, but this is the one. There's one, one of them. One of them. <laughs> Here's Foxglove House. Mm-hmm. Look at that whole fox. fox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we connected. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Foxglove House. The fox is gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, here is from Punk and Lane series. Love this it, is it, Maple it. House. And now we have, oh, this is Mother Daughter Everlasting Friendship Sampler. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Let me try and get it in there so you can see what it looks like. So that was the name. This is another coming there. I love it. A oh, Peacock Manor? Yeah. Oh, interesting. And it's got alphabet on there. You're growing up into a sampler. No, no I can't leave it without the alphabet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh but, but look, I love how the alphabet fades in and fades out. That's so cool. Peacock Manor. Eat you into alphabet, yes. Yeah. Ooh, look at this one, the peony house from the Wisteria. I love that big flower. The peony house from the Wisteria Lane collection. See, I see something like that, and I think you could stitch just this giant flower right here as a little motif and do a little pin pillow like that, a smaller pin pillow. That'd be cool. Here's my favorite. 
I do have this in my stash and I, I'm like, I have to stitch this. This is the Red Bunny sampler. When it came out the last time, when it was new, everybody was just, this thing was flying out so fast. And I finally was able to get me one. This is the Red Bunny sampler. Look at that bunny. Oh my gosh. And I, and I love the red. Uh, let's see what the red, uh, they used a uh, tulip from Belsois, my favorite red. So this is kind of meant to be, uh, I, I will have to start and stitch this one day because um, as we hung up everything in the shop, um, it kind of was pretty noticeable that um, there's a lot of Halloween hanging up in the shop, just a little bit of everything else, but there was a lot of Halloween. I'm like, mm -hmm. I need to stitch other things. I do love a lot of other things. I just never thought about it before. <laughs> so now I've got a visual when I walk in, I'm like, okay, I need something else. All right, so this is the Sampler House by Wisteria Lane. You good? Yeah, honey, she's here. Okay. okay. Technical issues. Yes. Ronnie in a box. <laughs> All right, here's Sampler House. See, it's got the little ABC up there, and it got these big X's for relates to the sampler. And then here is ooh, well, this is cool. This is perfect for your for your cross stitch area or your cross stitch room. It's called Stitch, and it's got bobbins and scissors and floss and all the cool stuff that you would use to stitch. The stitch. And then here is a Stitcher's Retreat House. Good piece to stitch with your friends if you're going on a retreat. Okay, so so this, so Cranberry Manor must be a seasonal series because we showed one earlier, I think it was spring. Or... With the alphabet, did you say mm. the alphabet, no? No. This this is some it's all the way at the beginning. This is summer garden at Cranberry House. So this is summer garden at Cranberry House. I don't think you say my name. Yeah. And um, there's that. So they put the, yeah. This is the hold this. Hold it. It's the same this one? one that you show is Adam. At oh Autumn at Cranberry House. Did I say I like it and you said the alpha? Oh, okay. So there. I know. So they're I doing know. them in seasonally. Oh, that's cool. See, I know it's sleeping. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> All, All right. right. Here's that. Okay, and here is this is a this is another one of those uh, tea time um, palette designs from the. This is called Tea Garden Pin Pillow. So you have a lot of different designers that did this collection. And I like the fact that they all put the little logo on their design so that you would know, oh, that's the collection. Because otherwise it's kind of hard to figure it out, but that's pretty cool, it's there. And then we have the last one in the Wisteria Lane um, series. This is Wisteria House. This one's really cool, Ooh, look at that purples. Yeah. Look at these purples. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I like this one. Right. So that is Pansy Patch yeah. quilts. You probably street. go here in a, 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 like a back, bang, uh, blah, blah, blah. background noise is because we changed when I moved stuff in the shop, an online shop, I moved uh, furniture mm -hmm. and we have different table. Yeah. Each this... little touch is like, a little noise. Noise. Yeah. So this little table, this table may, uh, we may have to switch to we another table. We have to table. switch it next time. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm afraid to touch it because I'm afraid it's going to make a noise. So I'm it focusing on that. Yeah. So now this is a very fun designer. I love her stuff. This is a pedal pusher and she's got a very quirky feel to her. Uh, this one is not as quirky as the others, but you'll get, you'll get it when we get there. This is Autumn Glory. So she's got a nice cool little, I mean, the colors are very out there. I love the colors of the trees and the trees itself. Right. Here we go. Here's her fun stuff. This is, uh, it's part of the Spring Fling series. 
So it's a group of animals doing human things. This is Galloping Gardener. He's a horse and he's a Galloping Gardener. So you would stitch them individually like that if you wanted to, but there's five of them that you would stitch in a row like that. So these are the Spring Fling series. Very cool. And so that's a different series. Oh. Yeah, she's got a lot of different series. So they'll 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 be blended in here by alphabet. So that's fine. Uh, this next one is how does your garden grow? I saw this one in person at at market, and it is so delicate and so gorgeous. And the fact that you get four patterns in this one little pamphlet is amazing. It does not show. I mean, the daffodils are amazing. I just love this piece so much. The detail in the flowers, mm -hmm. you would you would love that. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So here mm -hmm. is another group of the animals doing human things. This is the Beach Day series. This is Hang Ten Heifer. So it's cow surfing. Is that not the funniest thing ever? So it's the the Beach Day series, and here are it's the same animals doing things each season. So this is the next group of them. All right. So we're doing a palette cleanser between each one of them. <laughs> All right. So here is uh, freshly picked greens. Look at that. Isn't that not cool? Very calming. Freshly picked greens. And then we have freshly picked pumpkins. Freshly picked pumpkins. And then, uh, I love designers with themes. Freshly picked tulips. Keeps us all in a row. I like the, the way they... Uh, Is that an extra? Yeah. The, this, they, oh, this she has a separate has, pattern in there too? Yeah, and this one, like in the pumpkins, so there's a little she pattern. She this one. Oh, okay. And the... The Everglearings. Oh, the, it's a little olive one. branch or something. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, little, and little it's... Uh, it's in there, right? And the, and the fruit, yes, it's here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. there. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's not... It's yes, pretty cool. It's, it's there. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's uh, extra. A little extra thing. Yeah. All right, and I was I was looking and call my attention. Mm -hmm. I want to share. So now we've got another one from the Spring Fling series. This is the Pig Medallion. Pig Medallion. It's a pig with a daisy reef. So I put the name there so you can see what it looks like. Look at that little guy. He's from the Spring uh, Fling series. And then we have from the Beach Day series, we've got patrolling, patrolling poultry. So they're lifeguards at the beach. At the... That's pretty cool. Those are so fun. And she has a Halloween series, but I don't think we have it. And then this was pretty hot at market. This is called Rascals. Look at that. Look at the carrots and little bunnies. And that one's Rascal. That's a new one. It just came out. It's very hot. Very fun. Uh, this is Sandy Swine. So see, there's a pig and a cow in every one of them. So day at the beach. She's just being simple this time. She's a Sandy Swine. But see, if you look here, all the waves attach together. So it makes it one big cohesive piece. Yep. Okay. Got Sandy again. All right. Now we have Scuba Stallion. But well, wait a minute. He's on a surfboard and he's scuba. Okay. He, he just doesn't know what he's doing. So this is Scuba Stallion on a surfboard with the scuba gear. <coughs> that crab is like in every one of the, the beach day ones. Okay. So, all right. Interesting. And then we have a uh, sun-loving sheep. The little sheepy there is getting some sun. All right. And now 
we have Summer Splendor. So this is her season, four season series. Summer Splendor. Okay. Then we have Spring Beauty. I like the fact that the clouds are just outlined. You don't have to stitch them solidly. <laughs> that's, that's a relief sometimes. But you could always fill it in if you wanted to. Here is another one of the animals from the Spring Fling. This is Wooly Wellies. Is that a sheep? It's a little sheep with a rain jacket on. Oh, okay. So he doesn't get wet. You know, you don't want your wool wet. Okay. And then we have Winter Wonderland. That's so cute. And this is the last one from Petal Pushers. So she's got some great designs. Fun. I mean, I love the perspective, the different uh, looks. Uh, the next designer is uh, Pineberry Lane. We have a few of her designs. A lot of her designs are normally club pieces from different shops in different areas and stuff. And then after a while, they, they're finally released. So this is always cool that she does release. Oh, I got ahead of myself. So she does release her things. This is All Good Witches. That's a, isn't that cute? I mean, it's not a big pillow. They're nice, cute little pillows. And here is very primitive uh, Halloween stuff. This is Autumn Blessings. So you can do it like that, or you could do just the center piece like that. Okay. Then we have Miss Mar Marjorie, mm -hmm. Almost Halloween. <laughs> All right, so she's got a white pumpkin that she's doing something to. I guess she's cutting the eye holes out for him. And he's lit up. And then we have Fancy Blackett and Little Fancies. Oh, this is cool. So you get like three, you got three little patterns there you can do. And then, oh, okay, so they're not always witches. Here's they're little gorgeous. angels. Noel. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely for the primitive um, stitcher, I would say, because it's very primitive. I love a pumpkin head lady. You need not be afraid of me. I'm just a grown-up pumpkin seed. <laughs> That's funny. So here is um, Pumpkin Seed. Is she not the cutest thing ever? Even her arms and, and chest is orange. <laughs> I love it. Her legs. All right. This one, I do remember because I was in a club and I got this piece. So this piece is now available for everyone, which is fun. It's the Witch's Garden. And I had so much fun put uh, stitching her and Ronnie put her together for me. Uh, we need to find her and put her in the shop. Really? Yeah. She's in, um, you did a little pillow for me. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I remember because Ronnie made me, uh, backstitch the ball fringe around the piece before he put it together. And, um, it was very, I struggled. He did it to me on purpose. He made me learn. And, um, I still remember that I didn't like it. No idea. I don't remember. All right, now we have a designer who, who loves to design lots of things. She's a very prolific designer, and we all know her and love her, Plum Street Samplers. So mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be a long segment. Yeah. This is a, a new release. This is uh, American Welcome. Gorgeous. For our patriotic stitchers out there. Yeah. See this next section. It's a small, small section. This is American Mermaid. I think she'd be the mini that would go with the American sampler. American Mermaid. Autumn Joy. Little skinny deer. That's a great stitching in the wild piece because you know it's for a mini for a small exchange. Mm -hmm. It's a wild animal. All right, and now we have a bowl full of uh, Mary's, Mary One. That's a series. It's a series. 
is he mm -hmm. i love this one i haven't done it yet and then How here is one? here is a bowl full of mary's mary three it's got a cow on it <laughs> santa's having a cow <laughs> all right i've done these i gotta get them finished i did these on 40 count that's my first time ever using 40 count a bowl full of scaries scary one I stitched these when Ronnie and I went to Dallas that one time and yeah. we did it in the hotel. I'm missing two. No, I'm, um, I'm, uh, it's not in order. Oh, it's in here somewhere. You, put, you show three, now you show one, and down. No, this is a different company. This is a different series. This is Halloween. That's Christmas. A bowl full of scary. Scary. Oh. That's Mary. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so now here is a bowl full of scaries, too, and it's got an evil squirrel in it. He's pretty cool. I need to get those finished in the pillows. Oh. Okay. This is a ghoul tide welcome. And Karen, I'm sorry. I, I have not picked this back up in a very long time. So I know you're probably way ahead of me. Wink, wink, nod, nod. We'll get, we'll get it. We'll get it back on track one day. Here is abominable abominable bundle i love these little things where she puts like three little critters in there always to me in my mind it's always mom dad and baby so this must be the mom in the middle looking for the family the dad's up here being a fool and the baby's down here having fun and here is adam names the animals genesis and it's going to be a big one because it's a nice thick book you get some of the oh look at that yeah pretty cool and this is adorn your heart the adorn and and there's a pin cushion in here also oh it's on the back i can show you on the back so this is adorn your heart and here is the little pin cushion oh it's cool and now we have Autumn Cottage. And so for those of you who want to do a house and not a big one, that's pretty small. Right. Babushka's Bees. I remember when this one came out, I was like, oh God, I want to do this. This is so funny because I love the Babushka's Bees. Look at that, it's so funny. I just like it because of her name. And now we have Bigfoot Bunch. I think I finished these guys. Yes, I did. I finished these guys. I have to go take him and get him framed for the shop. Because he's not Halloween, so he can go up. Bigfoot Bunch. And there was... Where's, okay, of course, Dad's up in the corner again. Mom's there. Uh, where's Baby at? Baby is... Oh, way over here. I never attached that. Maybe way over there. Yeah. Huh. It's for me. Huh. And then now we have Bony Bunch. This is uh, actually it's only two skeletons, and the third is a cat skeleton. So it's Bony Bunch. I'm not into Halloween, but I'm found some of these skeletons very cute. Yeah. And I'm. Um, see many charts with the skeletons and i was like oh that's cool and because you love stitching with white so much keep going please <laughs> please going all right here is a uh, blue skin george washington's it's brand new white horse uh this one is not a new one nelson was the new one. Oh, nelson was i'm yeah. sorry yeah this is blue I'm thinking skin. that one was too it was at market and i said oh if i got one horse i could have oh, two that is my confusion yeah so this is blue skin and that's the cherry tree with the white horse and george washington this is so cute oh definitely have to go up on the wall at the shop this is crone on crone on the hill so this could either be a Halloween piece or just a grumpy old lady. I love this one coming too. Christmas at the Colonies. 
Is that is that one there? Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. So gorgeous. That was pretty. It's a different take on Christmas. It's mm -hmm. for me. It's like pilgrims with Christmas, but I guess that would have been their normal the clothes. Colonies. The colonies, yeah. They're dressing like pilgrims. Yep. And then we have ooh, this one, I like this one. This is Christmas in July. Hmm. I love how it's broken up because you got like the road view here, and then the house is up there. So, but it looks like two separate pieces, but it's pretty cool. And then we have Cardinal Kin, and it actually comes with two different um, colorways. So if you like your Cardinals more red, red, there's one um, color key for the red, red. And then if you like it more muted, there's one for the more muted. So, um, and they're pictured both right up here, one or the other. So I thought that was really cool that she gave you the option. But as a stitcher, you could always do that yourself. Yeah. I mean, you always have the freedom of picking your favorite red. Here is Christmas Mini Moon. Nothing like a hair on a roof. Okay, and then we got Clementine. Oh, I forgot She's about gorgeous. her. I, for I forgot, I always forget about her. Every time we see her, I'm like, oh yeah, I like Clementine. Yeah. She's a mischief cat. And here is Two Pilgrims in Love and Fall is what I'm calling it. So here is, okay, good, they're back to back. So here is Falling. So they're like they're courting or something. And then here, hold that one up. And then this next one is called Flirting. So it's in the wintertime and they're at the pine trees. So are they up to something no good or what? <laughs> That's cool. They're on reindeer. Oh my God, look, they're on reindeer this time. They're on horses there yeah but here they're on reindeer this and they're older that's so cool oh yeah they are old. oh okay <laughs> they're young they're like young no, love they're the same no they're old oh, i thought that was like a hat no because it's her hair no okay and two old couple old couple all right seasoned couple here is float float like a butterfly ah uh. yeah this is the one that she did a companion piece that um, Heartstring Samplery did the companion piece. So it was Float and Sting, and here's the two of them together. That was kind of fun where they, they made a collection. So this is just one half. This is the Float. Oh, float? Yeah, for the butterfly. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is the thread they use. And then uh, DMC. Oh, there is DMC. Yeah, DMC. Yeah. And here is uh, another stack, Animal Stackers. This is Fox Few. Got those fancy foxes all on top of each other. And then we have, here's one for Ronnie, Freedom Pin Roll. Mm-hmm, I was looking that one earlier. Yeah, it was a Freedom Pin Roll. I guess you would wrap it all up and use it as a scissor fob. I guess that's what it's doing there. An interesting idea. Oh, and I like this one. This is Friends of the Pot. H A R T. I don't know. Okay. Got me there. So this is I love the animals and the the old fashioned look of this. Very for me it's very European, very German look. I like that piece. There's that. And the next group. Next group. Here is one of my favoritest, favoritest of all time pieces. It's Garden of Erie. And um, I just got, I had I have to contact the designer to get it. So I got it again for the shop because we had the model where I stitched it. This is Frankenstein and his lovely bride in a garden, um, an eerie garden, like an Adam and Eve sampler style piece. So it was so fun, 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 fun to stitch. What's it say down here? Um, I did not, when I stitched mine, I did not put the words on the bottom. I just left the words off. It still looks pretty cool. And here is, oh, this, this is right here. Oh, I love this one. This is called Flag Thief. 
it's a rabbit who's stealing the flags and the fox is chasing the rabbit. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. That's definitely on my list of patriotic pieces I want to stitch. And I like how the stars are, are just like drawn on there. Pretty cool. Here is um, another nice patriotic one. God bless America. Nice big red house. And for the big red house, there's a bigger eagle, bigger bird eagle sitting on top of it. Mm. And then we have George decorates for Martha. He's um, decorating the White House or the or their house with pumpkins and the acorns and big bird on the roof. This fall piece. Oh, look at this. This is a cute little fox. Look at that one. This is Good Company. And then we have Goodness and Thanks. It's a Bitter Crow Cushion. Okay. A bitter crow, bitter Crow's Cushion. Okay. I don't remember seeing this one before. That's pretty cool. I would say it's a Thanksgiving piece in my mind. Ronnie would say it's just pilgrims back in the day. Mm, no, <laughs> I don't. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here is Grace Don't Abound. Look at this. This is the flowers and the border. Look at all that border. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then Grace Don't Abound. All right. And you know I like this one. This is called Grimm's Haunt. Look at that. Those are some... The, the, to me, the barn looks like a candy corn. It's an upside-down candy corn color version. But I love how it's so detailed in all the different patterns stitched in the barn. So it's not just a big blank block of color. And this guy, I've stitched him. This is Harvest Delivery. He's hanging up at the shop right now. Chilling out with the other, other pieces. I miss my, my cross stitch at the house. I do. <laughs> I don't say that. All right, here's uh, Jack's candle pocket. And um, and we have the thread pack that goes with this from Color and Cotton. This is Neil. Uh, really? No, no, no. 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 Uh -oh, this came oh out my a, God. a few months ago. My my yeah. head is. I'm thinking this one was. Mm -mm. No. Here is um, Mariner's yeah. Mariner's drum. It's a cool little mermaid drum. So here is. They show the top, the side, and you even stitch the bottom. You stitch a compass on the bottom. Talk about full stitch. That thing's like 365. That's pretty cool. Oh, and I stitched this one. This is Mary Brew. Santa with his coffee or hot cocoa on the roof. For me, it's coffee. Here is my garden house. Oh, it's a cool drum. So you got the house that shows the front view of the house. And then look at the back view there with the, with the flowers. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then we got, oh, wait, I want to show this one next. Hold it back up. This is called a peaceful home. These would be great. They're very companion. companion pieces. Look at that. Together, they, yeah. More in a summary. Maybe one's more spring, one's more summer. Okay. And now we have a heart's welcome. Oh, she's carrying a pineapple. Okay. Interesting. My heart's welcome. And Why here, interesting? I don't know. It's just kind of cool because the pineapple. Winter. Yeah, but a pineapple is a symbol of welcoming from the, um, the past. Mm -hmm. And they would put their pineapple out to welcome. But pineapple is a southern fruit. You know, it's. I don't know, just tropical. tropical fruit, and it's in the winter time. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. So here is uh, Merry Friends. It's from Jack's Sweet Shop, Merry Friends. And you, you'd either finish them in that little tart. 
I found an interesting frame with an oval opening in it, and I thought that was pretty cool. So keep your eye out for interesting oval hold items to frame up. Here is Washington's other horse. This is his everyday horse, not his war horse. This is Nelson. This was the new release. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Pretty darn cool. And we're still, we're about halfway through Plum Street. Now you know why Ronnie broke up the peas. <laughs> this is uh, Proverbs 31. Uh, it says, uh, she seeth wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. There's a name. And this is one that we had, we contacted the designer and got her to reprint it. This is called Dust of Snow. There was a, there was a stitch along a few years ago with a group of people who were looking for this pattern and they wanted to stitch it together. I like it when an old pattern gets revitalized. Isn't that old? 2010 is not that old. Okay, here is my pretties. I gotta find that when I stitched it. I finished it in one of those little wooden boxes. This is my pretty. So you got, I stitched the witch there and then they have the other two that I still need to stitch, but this is my pretties. Super cool, cool, cool. And here is Salem Sisters. There's actually three Salem Sisters. There's Salem Sisters one, two, and three. This is the first one. And that one's pretty cool. I love that one. And here is Salem Sisters 3. Two. Two. And this is like a continue, like a, another verse. So they're great companion pieces. Two. All right. Oh, we don't have three. Oh. Maybe it's on the website. Right. And then we have Toil and Trouble. I, I know a meaning of this. Piece. I've been stitching it for a few years now. Those trees are no joke. They are very, very, very big trees. So it's toil and trouble. So the trees are my toil and I'm in trouble. All right, the last stack of Plum Street samplers. Look at that. It's the last stack. You want this box to put the rest of them in there? Nope. Okay. Uh, now we have Penny Autumn. In the autumn here. And then next we have an oldie but a goodie. This is Pomegranate Santa. Look at that. Isn't he cool? I love all those little reindeers down there. And now we have Penny Spring. Penny Spring. Oh, I haven't finished this one yet, have I? Rack stack. Mm -hmm. Oops. Not rack stack. Maybe I think I did finish it. I don't know. I know I'm stitching it. Oh, here's another cool fox. Rest a while. He's a wily fox, isn't he? Look at that. Rest a while. I love the the artwork, the way the plants are done around them. Here is Roo Crew, a kangaroos, three kangaroos. It's the baby in the pouch. Yes, he is. Here is another one from Jack's Sweet Shop. This is Siren's Tart. So this is another one from the series. Spring Moon. Oh, okay. So this is a uh, Spring Moon. It's a hare jumping a house. Only in cross stitch. And then she has a, she's got a series of where she does these, uh, the wiener dogs. And this one was called Star Barks. I have to say it the correct way. Star Barks. Is that cool? They are so fun. Now this one, this is one I still have to do. This is called Summer Delivery. I love the horse. 
Her horses are so cool. Summer delivery. And here is Summer Moon. When I saw this one, I'm like, I want to stitch this one now. This is really cool. Uh, this is Summer Moon. It's got two hairs and a big red house. But I like how the bricks, look how the bricks are just scattered in there. It's kind of cool. It's different. I'm going to put that on my list to do. This is not Halloween. I can do it. Spring beginnings. Spring beginnings. This was a, this was a market release. And here is a market release. This is called Stars. She did the companion piece with Shakespeare's Peddler, who did Anne Stripes. So here's Stars. I love this piece just by itself. That red is really cool. And now we have Summer Glory. Summer Glory. Another new release with the skinny long leg deers. And this one is one of mine that I want to do. This is called the Black Cherry Tart from Jack Sweet Shop. I don't know, something about this, it just looks so cool. I don't know what season it is. Maybe it's fall or spring, berries. I don't know. It's just so cool. And this is, oh, this is, this is the day. <laughs> I was like, sorry. In my head. I'm in my own head. This is the day. Look at those colors. Look at this house. That's some crazy brickwork. That looks like it's a fun stitch. I don't know what it is. What? I was saying this is, and then that was the name of the chart. I said mm -hmm. this is, this is the day. <laughs> and the next one is... Uh, the equ Equality Sampler. It's a great one for the patriotic Americanas. Look at that. That's a very fun, involved piece, isn't it? Very cool. And now we have this Happy Morning. And this one, she did it in two color. She gave you two options to do it either in the dark or the light. So either day or night, or stitch them both. Stitch one for the day, one for the night. So there's the day, and then here would be more night version. Kind of cool. I like when the designers give you options. This I know. Look at all those little sheep. And it's a pink church. Little sheep just having fun out there. We are close <laughs> to the end. Are you still awake? You still with us? How almost, almost. Hello, is anybody out there? It's only been an hour. It's not that long. I know it's not long, but. This joyous season. It's been a long day. Yeah. This joyous season. Look at that one. Oh, wow. Look at this. Thistle House. Thistle House. Thistle. Yeah. Thistle. See, that's a thistle. It's a plant. Thistle. You can barely see that woman. She's looking kind of ghostly. Then we have the tortoise tower. Oh, because it's too clear to it and clear. Yeah. So here is tortoise tower. I wonder how many years that is up when you stack all the years up. Was it like three, 200 years or 225 years? Here's more of the wiener dogs. This is ugly sweater. Weather, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I can believe dogs are doing this. Like, yeah, they put this crazy sweater on me again this year. Look at that. That's fun. Oh, this is on my list to do. This is Yuletide Delivery, Mrs. Claus, and she's got a white reindeer. Look at that. Mrs. Claus and a white reindeer. That is a very fun piece. Yuletide Delivery. I love her delivery series. All right, and then guess what? This is the last one from Plum Street, Winter Blessings, and it's another long-legged skinny deer. I think this is another one that came out this year. Nope, last year. This is Winter Blessings. 
Oh, so it must have been a series with a seasonal series for the long skinny leg deers. That's what I'm calling them. I like that one. And Red. that was the last one of the Plum Street Sampler today. Mm -hmm. And um, I forgot and the thank you. I want to give our thanks to Karen from Fox and Rabbit for help us to fill it up the club announcement announce announced <coughs> I'm sorry I want to thank you everybody who um uh, joined last year to the Fox and Rabbit and keep all year long your membership and not draw up in the middle and many other ones and I want to thank you everybody who joined for this new season year season mm -hmm. year is yeah. right the word yeah. Yes, thank you so much and welcome to our club. Mm -hmm. We will do our best for in the moment you pay your invoice on the 28th, send it the same day or late next day. Yeah. And um, I really appreciate everybody who um, join and keep it the, the, um, the membership. Yeah. And for um, the the club you're not required to re-sign up every year yeah. so it's auto it's auto renewing just like the bag of the month and yeah. the other club so they just auto renew um if you're um and if you, it, the, since the club is full we do still have it posted on the website showing sold out um and it does state in there instructions on how to sign up for the wait list because mm -hmm. um, we do have a wait list on all our clubs yeah. um and we do only take waitlist uh, information via email. That way we can track it because it, you know, messenger and stuff loses things. So you don't really say, how did I get this information? <laughs> yeah. And so, um, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it in the start, but ah, completely forgot. Yeah. And, and when I was Gary, I almost interrupt Gary and the shop to shop because I'm forget. I forget. <laughs> My brain is Saturday, then I forget. Yeah. but well, we've got a lot going on i mean i'm amazed yeah. how much we've done so far um i was looking at some old photos of the building uh yesterday and i'm like wow this was january the 4th it was gutted yeah january the 4th i mean we have we have like pulled off almost a, a miracle here so um we want to thank everyone for your patience with us in responding to your messages and keeping up with our emails. We uh, we try. We I try guess. and try our best. Uh, yeah. I believe I have caught up with all my emails. I've responded to everyone as of the hour before this video. <laughs> 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 and um, so we are still working. If you've asked for things, we are still working on getting those things. They take some time. Some items take longer yeah. than others. Do we still have a couple of market? We do. We still. I have. I want to apologize to the the uh, people who pre-order to us, but it's not us. It's the designers who are not respecting market. For me, it's not respecting market. Not respecting us as a customers. They are this time. Do not send us the product we pre-order. It's shame. It's shame on day. But I want to apologize to you because I'm very sorry that we cannot commit with your pre-order because the designers. Yeah, yeah, we are still waiting on um, Needlework Press to send us the uh, Stitcher's Toolbox, the little plastic um, case with the Stitcher's Toolbox yeah. that you put your stuff in there. And then we're also waiting on a two charts from um, Mojo Stitches in australia so that's yeah. the only two that we're and it's waiting shame on. because they don't reply to our calls and they know us where the phone and it's tied our hands in that situation with the designer but we'll get through it we hope they don't do it that again to yeah. to people yeah. luckily um it was only two this time yeah so uh they are getting better and uh last year we don't have that issue because we don't. We had somebody. Um, so let's see. Uh, what, what's happening on the 27th again? I don't know. 27th of April, doing the grand opening of Garon Stitchery, our LNS. And um, we will have um, 
we will be doing we'll opening at nine o'clock on the 27th and we'll be closing probably about six we or so i'm thinking after six because probably. it's the first day is people coming out of the town and uh, we want they we'll, we'll be the we'll morning. be flexible that first day yes and, and then that uh, is the good yeah, thing yeah yeah and then normally we only do appointments on sunday we, we are planning to do only appointments on sunday but as this sunday that sunday the 28th will be our grand opening weekend we will open up at nine nine and, and close, close five five so yes. that way, if you're still here, because there's a, a lot of people that's coming, staying in hotels. And if you're still here the next day, come on by, stop by, uh, a little, maybe a little calmer and say, oh, wow, I didn't see that. That was right there in front. <laughs> it happens to me all the yeah. time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much all we got for you guys this week. Um, it has been a very fun week. Seeing things bloom and grow in the shop is Every, every car load we take over, it just gets more full and full. And it's looking, like Ronnie said, when you see the video afterwards, it looks like a real shop. I mean, it is a real shop, but I mean, it's like, it's coming alive. It's growing. It's, we're going to look back on this for years and say, wow. Yeah. what It was so fun because we will forget about the pain. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, this I can forget the pain. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for spending your time Thank with us. Thank you. Them. I love you, y'all. Bye. Bye.